ticket item for Regina's less fortunate. The guide maps out all of the places where Regina's homeless people can go for shelter, clothing, and emergency food service. 3,000 copies have been distributed, with more on the way. As Wayne Manteca reports, the guide's popularity brings to light a disturbing reality. It's a guide to Regina that Charles Kinnaquan knows too well. Yeah, I, 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 eat, I eat at Souls Harbor every day. The Regina Survival Guide first hit the streets last summer, listing all the places where those in need could go for free food, clothing, and emergency shelter. All 3,000 copies were quickly snapped up. Now another 3,000 have been printed. Kevin Brass isn't surprised. I see a lot of use for it. Shows you where you want to go and everything, and where you want to eat. A lot of homeless people in Regina. The Regina Survival Guide is the idea of University of Regina professor Mark School. He says it's hard to feel proud of his success. I think it speaks to our failure in a lot of ways. Um, in a city as rich as ours and a province as rich as ours, to have a need for this many services, um, I think, speaks to our failure in terms of uh, looking out for those uh, whose daily existence is a struggle for survival. The survival guide is not just for the homeless, but the working poor as well. Most people take in, take away. I mean, we do this for sure, but uh, a large handful of specific instances where people come in has been a really direct and uh, good help for people, especially people who are new to the cities. It's not the type of guide you're likely to find alongside glossy tourism brochures. It's a situation the community doesn't always recognize, and that could be part of the problem. Wayne Manteca, CTV News, Regina.